Okay, making uh, three large supercells here. Actually, two of them were taken apart because they weren't perfect. They were a little too dark. This is one I just got done making. It's obviously dark spots here, but I'll massage it out with a magnet to make it perfectly even. This is uh, two drops of mouse milk. That's what it's actually called. It's been around since World War II. It's basically kind of like an old version of WD-40. And uh, one heaping drop on these really large uh, optical flat blanks of uh, ferrofluid. And uh, using pipettes. And the um, best thing to actually use is UV curing um, glue. You actually smear it and you use a UV light and it instantly hardens. And I'm using super glue gel which works best to seal the edges. And here we go. It, uh, the consistency of the cell should be like a light amber like this. I'll massage this uh, ferrofluid all around there with a magnet because the magnet will draw it in. Right now I've got uh, two and a half heaping drops of mouse milk. Man, that stuff really stinks. And one heaping drop of, uh, well not actually a heaping drop of uh, ferrofluid. You can get all this stuff on eBay, by the way. If you have optically flat blanks like this that are really large, and I don't mean um, filters like lens filters, let me know if you send me enough optical blanks, I'll make you a supercell. Um, just got done testing this one. It's really sensitive. I made this one perfect. It doesn't look perfect right now, but actually it is perfect when you turn the light on. It's just LED ring lighting. Right there, LED ring light. Yep, there we go. And this is how you make a supercell. It's very messy. Very messy. You should wear gloves, right? Yeah, no, whatever. Boy.